Alright, welcome back. We're going to try The Long Way Home by Joe Carter. Um, he's been doing some replays online. I'm putting it in the vast. I'm going to be testing it out for him a little bit here. Um, see if we have everything in place. I've got my mouse over working now. I also put his maps, uh, travel maps, all in one big map. So that we just keep scrolling around to wherever we're at. And then just keep moving along with it as we go. I think that'll make it easier. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing in um, Escape from Corregidor. So I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Uh, we're going to find it out as we go. Um, at the beginning of the game, before initial takeoff from Auckland, the clipper is automatically loaded with a full load of aviation fuel. Uh, we've already got that down here. And put that on part of my automatic setup. Next roll a D10 to determine total funds on board the clipper. And eventually I'll put some at start uh, things in here to help make this a little easier. But uh, we roll a 4. Oh, that's a D6. D10. 9. Nice. 9 will be 3,000. So let's put a 5. You know, let's put two five so five hundreds down. That's a uh, thousand. Put ten of these. Ten. All right, that's uh, two thousand. Let's go ten of ten of these. That'll be five hundred. Okay, and um, that's a thousand, two thousand, five hundred. We don't need a whole lot of 25, so let's just do uh, 10 of them is 250, let's do 10 of them. Let's see, that's it's 250, it's 500, 750, we have five more 50s in there maybe. That's two, three, four, five. Give us a lot of little, a lot of little, we're probably limited more for, uh, um, pieces than what I've allowed. Like I said, I'm learning as I go. And probably should have put another 500 in there and gone to slack towards the bottom, but hey, whatever. One die six to determine number of spare engine parts. Three. Number of units on board clipper. So we'll have three spare engine parts. Here's the place to put them just over here in the cargo right there. Alright, um, next. One die six for each items listed below. Uh, radio spare parts. Five. One unit. So we got a radio, one radio spare parts, radio direction finder spare parts, one, no unit. Okay, um, it is currently 7 o'clock in the morning on December 16th, 1941 in Auckland, New Zealand. 
being unable to return back to Hawaii due to the recent Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Pan American Clipper um, NC-18602 must instead travel back to the United States via a long eastern route across unfamiliar, possibly hazardous territory. Is that an eastern route or a western route? Well, we got to go to the eastern United States, um, but we're on a western route. So, yes, we're headed to the west. So, um, I'm going to put this over on the other page so I don't have to keep closing it and open it. Um, across a unfamiliar and possibly hazardous territory, finally place a blue overhead clipper aircraft counter in the orange Auckland box, zone box on map 1. Set current time to, we have that. Set current time is 7 o'clock a.m. We have the clock at 7 o'clock and we have December 16th. We can go to table B1. And we're not going to pay the rules and there's a nice little cutout of it. I mean, we're not going to play uh, variant rules. We're going to go full bore and see what we can do better than we did on the long way home. I mean, on our escape from Corregidor. B1. Port city check. Um, we're going to weather check. We're going to roll one die. Ten. Ten. Bad. Stormy with rough seas. Very nice. We're starting off great. Go to table B2. And we're going to see A first. Player may choose to postpone takeoff for six hours to see if weather improves. Advance time six hours or however many hours player chooses to wait. And roll again on B1 above. Uh, we do have mod mod modifiers. I got to look at that. It's uh, if day plus one. That's what makes it at eleven. Um, boy, we're gonna have trouble getting away from this one. What's B two look like? Plus two of bad weather. You know what? I'm going to take a chance. I can always restart this and restart the video. Um, <laughs> let's see what happens. Two, three, four, bad weather, take off okay. So Clipper successfully takes off with no problems. Go to C1. So we took off all right. C1. Travel zone movement and time advance. Move clipper into the next travel zone on the map and advance the time three hours. If the clipper just took off from a port city, orange travel zone, aircraft starts out at low altitude level on, C, on table C3. Note, at any time, clipper may reverse course and head back towards closest port city for landing. That'll be nice to remember. Hopefully I don't forget that. Um, so, move clipper to the next travel zone. We're going to move him to 1, and then we're going to advance the time 3 hours, 1, 2, 3, up to 10 a.m. And we're at low altitude, which I already have a set. Um, okay. Random event, 2D10. That would be zero 07, no random event. 3, weather check, 1D10, one one D three times per travel zone, one time for each altitude starting with low. Okay, we did not get a random event, so that doesn't matter. So we're going to roll for low altitude, 1D10, 3. Um, we have... Um, Good weather in previous travel zone. No, we had bad. We're plus one per day, so that's four. And we had bad weather, five, six. So we're going to have good here, which is already there. Clear to partly cloudy. Um, let's go to medium. 1D10. 10. Nice. 
Um, I'm going to say 11, 12, 13. Bad stormy weather. Um, and for high altitude. Up D10, Greg. Uh, one, two, three. That'll be good up there too. So we're we're sandwiched right now. Um, so we have good in our current altitude. Go to table C4 or C5. Roll one die ten. Ten. Um, on forward course. Yes, we are on forward course. Yes, strong headwind present. Advance time one hour. We got to go strong headwind. And yes, so, so I have a headwind up here. Get that out there. Um, okay, oops, modifiers. Well, I don't think we're going to come down off of 10, but uh, 11, 10, 11, 12. Hold headwind. Go to table C6. Current altitude level change. Clipper may change altitude level or levels one time maximum per lever, level. Per travel zone. Uh, minus one fuel box per level of climbing. If this or if descending, no extra fuel is burned. For each altitude level change, roll again on table C4 or C5. Do not roll again for weather on table C3. Okay, we don't have any engine damage. Um, I'm going to stay at low, one time maximum per level. So we can we can only go from low to high. I mean, low to medium, medium to high. I'm going to stay at low right now to see if there's any consequences for that. Um, so we're not going to lose any fuel yet. Fuel burn. Clipper is now at a cr at cruising altitude. Choose fuel tank use and add or remove the following fuel fuel for current travel zone. Uh, cr cruising at low altitude. We can be rich fuel only. So we are. Rich fuel. Okay. Um, minus four boxes for cruising at normal. And that, two, three, four. That's why we want to get the hell up to a high altitude. The weather just sucked there. Um, minus one fuel box of sloppy management random event. We don't have that. Minus one fuel box for fuel tank leak. Don't have that. Uh, fuel box if headwind present at current altitude level yes we have that so we got to drop one more fuel box um, plus one plus one if exceptional no we do not have that all right then we go to C8 engine check rolled 2d10 8 or not, not 8 35 engines are okay go to C9 modifiers if auto fuel or we're in we're in aviation fuel right now navigation check one die ten no, one uh, pathfinder random event no RDF functional and in an RDF tra travel zone we are functional and we are in an RDF travel zone that's RDF right there so that is um, minus two Good weather at current and all lower altitudes, that would be us, minus two more. 
minus two of good weather and uh, current and all higher no uh, day yes so it's another one down uh, poor weather at current no poor weather at current and all no purple travel zone yes plus two we're still not going to get above five so um, we don't have uh, bad weather at the current so we could have done all that but nah, easy to look back and we don't have the lost random event so we're going to go ahead and be fine on that navigation enemy aircraft and counter check if currently in travel zones 8 to 14 go to table G1 we are not in travel zones 8 to 14 so um, we go to C11 mountain collision check roll one die 10 one for blue green or brown travel zone while at low, low altitude only we are in the purple so we don't have to roll for that C1 or D1 Okay, we're not in the port city, so we're going to go back to uh, C1. All right, C1. Travel zone movement and time advance. Uh, move the clipper to the next travel zone on the map and advance the time. So we're going to go to 2. It's another RDF zone. Um, three hours one two three um, and we go to random event 26 no random event go to C3 weather check want to start at low one die ten um, it's good uh, that'll be minus one plus one is zero so we're one die ten straight up for that one three good weather here uh, medium altitude um, minus uh, no plus one for day plus two plus three five six seven eight it's gonna be poor I think it's worth going up into that this time um, and then we're gonna have um, high altitude one that's gonna be good there also so we're going to look at we're in, we're gonna be a poor anyway so alright we're gonna go then to four uh, current altitude level headwind check 1d10 um, minus 1 for low altitude we're still there right now we haven't had the altitude check yet minus 1 plus 1 for day is 0 so we roll 1 die 10 8 strong headwind again um, Okay, but that's where we're going on reverse course we're not going on a reverse course uh, altitude level change we may change altitude and this time we're going to climb once we're going to move one more fuel box okay for climbing roll again on tables C4 um, for each altitude level change roll again on table C4 or C5 do not roll again for weather on table C3. Okay, so we got to go back to C4. We're on a forward course. We're going to roll a D10. It is poor. Plus one of day. Not bad weather, just poor. So we're adding one. Eight, nine. Still get a headwind. So um, we're burning up fuel. Uh, so we go back then to fuel burn uh, this is our cruising altitude um, four boxes no three boxes and we're going to be moving the lean fuel mixture um, so we're going to minus three fuel boxes this time 
and then we're going to subtract actually four because of the headwind so we're burning through fuel fast all right uh, engine check 2d10 that'll be uh, 50 straight up all engines are okay go to some um, auto fuel we're on regular fuel so none of that's above. We still see nine Navigation check, one die, ten, two. Uh, it's RDF, so we're going to be fine on that. No, minus one. Good weather at current and all lower. No, we're in poor weather. Minus one more is minus two. Poor weather current at current, no. It's just right in ours. So uh, plus two, you're going to be at zero. You get the idea. We're going to be fine. Um, so we're on course. On course, uh, no extra fuel burned. Go to table C10, C11, D1, or B3. What's B3? Uh, there is no B3. Hmm. I'm going to have to look. That's got me uh, wondering. You know, and I need to send... Uh, Joe, a uh, note on that. B3. B2. There is no B3. B2, port city takeoff. C. No B3. Okay. I'll send Joe a note on that one. And actually, he kind of watches these, so he'll probably pick up on that. send him a note because he's online right now. Alright, that's done. Um, so we are on course. We don't lose any time. We don't lose any fuel. We're going to go to C10. We're not uh, in 8 to 14. So we go to C11. We're in a purple. So we don't have to roll for that. Um, then we go back to C1. Okay, um, move Clipper to the next travel zone on the map and advance timer three. Now one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> we should be over here. Didn't realize it pulled that one on me. Okay, so we just go around like that. All right, I can do that. Went backwards, so forgive me. One, two, three, yes. All right, um, advance three, just, uh, we didn't take off, so we're still going to stay in the word uh, medium, and I did forget to do that, didn't I? Yes, I did. We moved up to medium. I hate forgetting things and we're going to move our headwind up here too oh where is that RDF signal detected I need a yes or no on that okay um random event zero eight no random event go to C3 um, weather check, one die ten per each altitude, starting with low. So, 
Hello is we are in a purple again. No, we're not. We're in an orange now. Orange is a port city. We're going to keep flying though. I want to get up high a little bit, I think. We've got uh, Gladstone, Australia coming up, and I think I'm going to try to land there. we got plenty of fuel to go so far. See if I can play this. I don't want to land in each one. I want to get up and maximize my fuel. As you can see, we burn through it quick. Um, weather check at uh, low. Uh, we have, um, we're still barely on daytime. And we're in orange, so... Um, When I add one, add two. Eight, nine, ten. Bad at low. All right. Eight, nine. That should have been nine. Uh, poor at low. Um, this is day. Actually, I should have been. Uh, eight but still poor um, this one is going to be day and poor so we're going to have plus one or plus two rather seven eight nine poor there too and this one here day and good is going to even out one d ten one good weather there um, so we're in poor go to table c4 c5 Current altitude level headwind check. One D ten plus one eight nine. Yes, we get a headwind again. No tailwind because we're going forward. Altitude level change. We're going to change. We're going to go up. Minus one fuel for climbing. Um, we're going to roll again on C4. Six uh, or more. Let's see. We got a plus one again for day, plus one for high altitude because we're now in high altitude. And we're going to move our, our pieces along with us. So plus one, plus two, five, six, seven. Yes, we still get a headwind. Um, Advance time one hour. Go to 7 p.m. Now night time. Current altitude level tailwind check. Nope. Altitude level change did that. Seven fuel burn. We are at high. We are on a lean mix. I'm uh, going to lose two boxes for fuel for high altitude and then we're going to uh, add one more to that, we're minus three because we're uh, on a headwind. So we're going to lose three fuel, not bad. And f the fourth for us climbing. Engine check, 2D10, 03, L engine's okay, go to table C9. Navigation check, 1D10. Um, minus 3. Minus 5, because uh, there is no higher and we're good. Minus uh, 4, because it's now night. Minus four. One. We're on course. No extra fuel burn. Go to table C10. No enemy aircraft. C11. Mountain collision. No. I'll go to C1. Move Clipper to the next travel zone on the map. That's uh, three. Moving along here where it's another RDF. Random event, 71, no random event, go to C3, weather check, starting with, starting with, um, low altitude, 
we got uh, minus one plus one. No, minus, yeah, minus one plus one. We're in low. So 1d10, that's eight. Still poor. Um, medium, minus one plus one. Seven, poor. Um, at high altitude, minus one for night. Minus one for good, that's minus two. Nine, seven, that's going to be poor here also. All right, then we go on to C4 or C5. We're headed forward, so we're going to check for a headwind. Uh, 1D10, minus 1, plus 1 is 0. 7, we have headwind again. Uh, current altitude level tailwind, nope. Uh, 6, altitude level change, going to stay right where we're at. Next turn, we got to go down to medium if we're going to land in Gladstone. Yeah, we'll go down from high to medium, medium to low. Yep. Okay. Um, we really don't need to lay, land at Gladstone if we don't feel like it because we got still got other fuel I do I want to maximize while we're up this high we could go all the way to Darwin we never made Darwin and escape from Corregidor maybe we can make it there in one one fuel load I know the less we stop the more we go that's three four one two three four five Um, it'll be close. It'll be close. Especially if we get lost or something. We're using a lot less fuel when we're high, so let's see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it. I have to make my decision up in the next turn. And we can always go back if things look badly. It'll be a waste of time, but... Um, okay. Uh, we're staying where we are then. So we don't have to roll anything different here. Uh, fuel burn. Minus 2 for a high altitude. And then we have the headwind again. So we're at minus 3 again. 3. Okay. Even in a best case scenario, we're going to be tight unless we don't get some headwind. Engine check. 85. All engines are okay. Go to C9. Navigation check. 1D10. 10. 10. Uh, minus 3 because we are in an RDF. Yes, we are. That's a 7. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we're off course. Minus one fuel burned. Uh, advanced timer one hour. Did we forget to advance? I do believe we forgot to advance time one hour when we moved into that one, too. I'm bad for things like that. i got to watch myself. Um, engine check. Navigation check. And all of a sudden, I lost where I'm at. Fuel burn. Okay. Um... Yeah, we did the navigation check and we got lost. So that's what got me on the time. Okay, um, so we're on the 10, no enemy aircraft because we're not there yet. 11, no mountains here, we're still in purple. Um, but that also tells me that I'd better land because 
even at a best case scenario of losing three per turn at high altitude we have one one two three four five turns left and we have too many boxes to go so um back to travel zone and movement we're going to move to the next travel zone which is four purple four right here advanced timer three hours one two three um random event 73 no random event weather check uh, we're at night minus one poor weather plus one and all that's zero so we're going to roll for zero we're adding zero we're starting at uh, the bottom low one that goes to good eight uh, poor in the middle and high four good Okay, and that brings us to four current altitude level headwind check. Uh, minus one, plus one is zero. One D10, 10, 10 headwind again, advanced timer one hour. Um, current altitude level tailwind check, no. Altitude level change, yes, we're going to go down to medium in preparation for landing uh, we got a roll again on C4 for headwind 1D10 minus 1 for night 8 still headwind gonna move all that down we are still in an RDF signal soon too um, No tailwind, altitude level, did that. Uh, fuel burn. We are now at medium, so that's going to be three out, minus one, minus four. One, two, three, four. All right. Engine check, 2D10, 79, all engines okay. Go to C9, navigation check, 1D10. We got minus three. Plus one is minus two. Uh, plus two is zero. One D ten straight up. Eight off course. Minus one fuel burned. And advanced time one hour. Not doing too well on our nav here lately. Go to table C ten. Uh, enemy aircraft. Nope. Uh, no no mountain to collide with. Go back to C one. We're going to move the clipper to the next. That's Gladstone, Australia. And we're going to touch down here because I don't think we're going to make this. Uh, we're going to burn fuel this time. And we got four more to go. And I just don't think we ought to do that. Uh, move clipper. We did. Uh, advance time three. One, two, seven a.m. in the morning. We're going to uh, random event, 42, no random event. Weather check at low is, uh, we are now daytime plus one. We had poor weather in previous zone, plus two. Three good weather and oh we got to do low first that's uh, plus one minus one that's good there middle one plus one plus two seven eight nine bad, poor <laughs> and high ten oh um, day plus one good minus one ten bad bad weather at least we're not going up there um, Current altitude level headwind check, 1D10, 
it is now daylight plus one we are still at medium right now two no headwind now we get no headwind all right um see six altitude level change we're going to go to low anything other than rolling for the headwind again. We roll a 10, so yes, we'll have a headwind on that one. Okay. 7, fuel burn. We're at low now. Going to go to rich mix. Uh, minus 4. Uh, minus 1 is mi uh, that's minus 5. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, then we're going to go to C8, engine check, 40, no all engines are okay, go to C9, navigation check, 8, this is an RD, it uh, doesn't say it's an RDF, now i got to look. RDF is an orange. Yeah, they don't have RDF next to it. I'm that's uh, min not minus three, so eight. Good weather at current, yes, and all lower at six, five. One course, no extra fuel burn. C10, C11, D1, C10, C11, D1. Port city weather. Um, I want that, I think, because we're going to try to land here. Port City weather. Okay, we've got good weather then. Player may choose to postpone landing for six hours. If fuel turn supply allows to see if weather approves by remaining in port. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, for each turn, roll again. No. We're going to go ahead and land. Port City Landing. Roll one die. Ten. One. Landing OK. Clipper successfully lands with no problems. Go to table D3 or D4. Uh, Port City Fuel Availability and Clipper Refueling. I'll roll one die. Ten. Pan American route port city aviation fuel is always available at no cost. This is not a Pan American route. Um, so we're going to roll 1D6, or 1D10 rather, and hope for a good roll. 7. Automotive and aviation fuel available. Automotive fuel, 25 per fuel box. Aviation fuel, 50 for fuel per fuel box. We don't have any fuel leaks. Comes mixed. Okay, so we're going to. Pay for refueling by subtracting total amount from the crew funds. Once paid for, refueling takes six hours. If there aren't enough funds to purchase fuel, to attempt fuel theft, no. Um, so we need to move this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move. We have 50 per fuel box. So let's go with, get rid of a 500. That's 10 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
get rid of another 500 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 let's get rid of seven of these easy to do now that gets us full when we bought aviation fuel easy to do that right now but uh, <sighs> sell a radio or spare parts unit for a hundred dollars each crew may attempt to steal fuel or the crew may take jobs at a, at a British or Dutch shipping company as dock workers from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Total pay for the entire crew is $100 per day at 6 p.m. Well, we don't need to worry about that in this day because we still have funds. Clipper repairs, we don't need any repairs. Okay. We could stay here and work a day and get a hundred back. Gambling and local rule 1D10, six times limit per 24 hours in orange. Six, so we can try six times in 24 hours at a port city travel zone. Choose wager each bet. Advance time four hours per bet. too much about this right now um, I think I'm going to stop right there for the day um, and, and kind of think things over and strategize a little bit because we can leave whenever we want so it's possible I could just kind of stay for another day and put another hundred bucks in here for these guys working and maybe bet that we can bet a couple of times too maybe see if we can either up these or I hate doing that though I'm not a gambler I hate gambling at least in this to give you a 50-50 chance um, I don't want to sell any of this stuff we got AV fuel right now but um, that's because we're flush um, but uh, the next Pan American port is, see, knowing what I know now, I should have stopped in here and refueled just for shits and giggles and then not, not landed until Darwin, knowing what I know now. Pan American ports where we get free fuel and repairs. Um, all the way over here in Leopoldville, Congo. So we got a long haul till we get free fuel. Definitely should have refueled right here. I could have stayed low that whole time. Taken off here, going right up to high. And, and seen how far we made it on that. That's a woulda, shoulda, coulda, didn't. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna think about this. You can see we blow through. We had three thousand funds, and now we're down to uh, that's uh, five, five, five times ten, five hundred, six, seven, eight. Well, we're roughly around a thousand something left, so we blew right through that. And I do want aviation fuel right now. The next time we'll go for automotive and, and go with a mix but um, all right that's it
we'll uh, continue this on next time and see how things go thanks a lot and if you like it comment um, on Facebook to Joe or here on my page uh, let Joe know that you're interested in it and how, what you think about it and um, I can see where this is going to be a trying ordeal also because you're blowing through fuel quick and I already see where I should have done a different strategy so um, thanks for joining me guys uh, like subscribe if you like it and um, we will see you next time